thyroid. This is the transverse section of the left thyroid lobe. This is the common carotid artery and uh, this is the jugular, internal jugular vein and uh, this is the transverse section of the left thyroid lobe. Here comes, the, I'm showing you now the uh, le left thyroid lobe in longitudinal section. You do see a few calcifications in the mid part. These are tiny calcifications gathered together uh, and uh, it's highly vascular, you see. All of the, now this is a magnified view of the uh, left thyroid lobe in longitudinal section. Clearly seen a few central tiny ecogenic gathered together, calculi these, this area in the medial part of this uh, left thyroid lobe. And the left thyroid is otherwise normal with no focal layer. Uh, this is the common carotid artery and here can see uh, left thyroid gland. So, here it is, the magnified view. This is the common carotid artery, internal jugular vein, the transverse section of the left thyroid. This is the isthmus, this is the cartilage and uh, the isthmus is normal. Here you see the, this is the tracheal cartilage giving posterior shadow. Now I'm moving towards the right side of the uh, of this gland and you see there is a solid uh, nodule, solid mass seen. This is solid mass with internal cystic areas. It measures approximately 3.1 centimeter by 3.6 centimeters and this is the transfer section. Now in longitudinal section here this is the longitudinal section of uh, the right thyroid lobe You see the configuration of this uh, and the appearance. It is solid with internal cystic areas. These are all internal cystic areas. Now the tissue of normal tissue, rim of the normal tissue is, is seen anterior to this uh, solid nodule in the right thyroid lobe. This is the normal rim of uh, thyroid tissue and this is the medial part of the gland here. This is the medial part. So, a line on you, cystic and solid in the right lobe of uh, the uh, thyroid, showing you vascularity. And uh, It's vascular, you see the vessels <coughs> entering, <laughs> entering within this uh, solid nodule in the right lobe of the uh, thyroid gland, right lobe of the thyroid with preserved anterior rim of uh, thyroid tissue. This is the preserved part of the thyroid tissue measuring approximately 2.2 mm. Now when I move towards the cervical region, here you will see this one, these are the this is the enlarged lymph node, this one, you see, this is the enlarged lymph node seen, another one is here. So cervical lymph node is seen on the left side.
this one. This is, and the central fat is preserved in this node. This is the lymph node this with the central scar uh, ecogenic line that of, this is the representative of fat. So cervical adenopathy is cervical region and lie lymph nodes are seen on the left side and if on the right side this is we were seeing on the right side sorry now this is the left side and here You see here one like, more enlightening note. This one, this is the lymph node. In the left cervical region, it does not change its shape. It's, it remains like that as it is. So this is the lymph node. Again, you will see a central uh, uh, scar of fat within it. This is the lymph node. This is the lymph node. This is the central scar. So this is our case study of the day. Thank you very much.